This video will be going over how bridge amplification works. Amplification is when a sequence is copied multiple times. Another way to amplify a sequence is using PCR. This method is also discussed in another video. The images used in this video were created from Illumina, which utilizes bridge amplification in their sequencing. The link at the bottom right is a video by Illumina which gives an overview on the steps used before amplification, as well as a great visual demonstration on how bridge amplification works. The first step is to prepare the genomic DNA sample, or the library. These basic first steps are found in all sequencing methods because a strand cannot be sequenced if it is too large or if it is double-stranded. Therefore, the DNA is fragmented into 300 to 800 base pairs long and then denatured at 95 degrees Celsius. If a large piece of DNA is sequenced, such as when sequencing a genome, the fragments of the DNA are aligned after being sequenced. The fragments of the DNA are aligned by bioinformatics tools after the sequencing. Adapters are needed to be ligated on the ends of the fragments in order to get the sequence to anneal to where the DNA sequence can be determined by the sequencing machine. In bridge amplification, the adapter constructs added to the DNA sequence of interest have flow cell binding sites of P5 and P7, which allow the P5 and P7 regions of the single-stranded library fragments to anneal to their complementary oleos on the flow cell surface. This means if one of the DNA fragments, which has a P5 adapter ligated to it, it will anneal to the flow cell on a P7 oleos, which is attached to the flow cell and vice versa. Several samples can be loaded into one of the eight lanes of the flow cell for simultaneous analysis. In this step, the sequence makes a kind of bridge shape when it is being copied and gives the method its namesake of bridge amplification. Unlabeled nucleotides and polymerase enzyme are added to initiate the solid phase bridge amplification. The reagents needed to sequence are added, such as primers to start the sequencing, nucleotides to form the new sequence, polymerase to actually sequence the nucleotides together, and buffer to keep the pH at an optimum level for enzymatic reaction. The flow cell oleos act as primers, and a strand complementary to the library fragment is synthesized. The original strand is washed away, leaving behind the fragment copies that are covalently bonded to the flow cell surface in a mixture of orientations. The steps 5 through 7 of the addition of sequencing reagents, creation of double-stranded DNA, and then the denaturation are repeated multiple times to create thousands of identical copies of the same sequence in each cluster. In other words, each cluster is made up of thousands of identical sequences, and each cluster has a different fragment of the original larger sequence of interest.